I'm Matt Nowak. I work for PanEco, and I help them with one of their programs, the Sumatran Rangutan Conservation Program. Um, I'm responsible for biodiversity monitoring and research at a number of the stations that the SOCP actually manages here in Sumatra. Uh, biodiversity monitoring and research actually forms a key component to SOCP's uh, main conservation goals. Uh, the reason being is because it helps us uh, develop baseline data that we can actually build our conservation strategies on. Um, SOCP actually has a number of programs and we actually try to do research at, at as many habitat types that orangutans are found in here in Sumatra. Uh, so one is the swamp forests, the lowland swamp forests in uh, Swap Balimbing. Another is the, uh, the lowland forest in Secunder where I'm at currently. It's sort of a, a low-lying uh, X concession, and so it actually informs, it actually is another kind of important forest type uh, because a lot of the forest here in Sumatra is actually being lost. And so, uh, working here at a forest that, that was previously primary forest and has actually been lost now is, is actually quite important. Uh, another forest that we work in is in Janto, which is where our orangutan rehabilitation and reintroduction station is. Um, that is sort of the lowland to hill forest. And then we also have another forest uh, way down south in a little population of orangutans in Bakang Toru, and that is sort of an upland uh, submontane forest. And so we actually tried to cover as many places where orangutans uh, are found here in Sumatra as possible so that we can better understand the variability in their behavior um, and actually how they cope with different uh, settings. And so uh, here at Sekunder, a typical day for, for one of the assistants is sort of getting up uh, going into the forest and doing a night tree to night tree follow where they will collect behavioral data the entire day uh, from when the orangutan gets uh, gets out of their nest and actually makes a new nest later in the evening. Uh, we also collect data on phenology and that's sort of helping us understand the productivity of the forest. Uh, so we look at the leaves, the flowering and the fruiting uh, of, the, of the forest trees here. We also look at forest structure. Uh, this helps us understand a little bit better of correlations between orangutan behavior and these different variables. Uh, and then we also then implement those back into our main conservation strategies to help us highlight key areas, uh, key threatened areas, uh, areas that we need to highlight and, and focus on our conservation strategies, areas that need to be protected and can be protected, um, and then how you protect those areas once you've highlighted the key areas to, that, uh, that need to be protected. Uh, we also do habitat monitoring as well, and so that's where some of the survey work comes in. Uh, so we survey the orangutan populations in, in pretty much everywhere that they can be found, so we can better monitor the, the populations now and into the future. And we also survey the available habitat for orangutans, so that we better know uh, what threats there are. Um, and then this is, again, where our, our behavioral data comes into play, so that now once we have these threats and we can map them out, we can actually make predictions on, on how these threats will affect orangutan behavior because we already have a nice baseline data uh, from the stations where we're working at. Um, I think that's pretty much it.